travel with on tour. Oh, it's hot here today. Yeah, as you can see, fully protected. Anyway, we're going to go for a little walk and talk in a minute along John TM. It's about 33 degrees here today. I've had a few people say to me they haven't seen my face on camera just lately. Well, this is the reason why having a walk around like this. If you see me, look out for the hat. Full face mask as well. And come and say hi if you see me walking around Pattaya, Beach Road, Second Road, or even John TM Beach, or even Pattaya Beach. Anyway, I'm going to turn the camera around now because you don't want to look at this face. It's not very good. Enjoy. On the right here, we've got a big condo. Look at this. All in green. You see all the aircon units. This is on the right hand side. And that's a big one. Right, let's walk on a bit more. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it's hot here. Yeah. yeah, I just thought I'd put that a little bit up of my face because I've had a few people saying, oh, we haven't seen your face on here lately. Well, with all what's going on with these viruses, there's not a lot to see really, is it? So that's why I've kept my face off. As a few of you have asked me for it, I thought I'd show you my face. I could do with a nice drink now and a bite to eat. I fancy one of these all day breakfasts. If I can find a place. But it's about 3 pm in the afternoon. So we're not sure what we're going to find. Right down the bottom here. By the complex, there is another Kiss restaurant. I've been in this one as well. Again, good basic food, some fried breakfasts, a bit of seafood they do, and it's all around 80 baht, a couple of quid. Like I said, with this restaurant, I've eaten in a few of them. It's a good budget priced meal, especially if you're with a family, but it's not the highest of quality but it's not low quality either, if you get what I mean. It's just budget price food, just to see you through the day. Kiss Restaurant is a chain of restaurants all over Thailand. There's a fair few of them I've seen now. Another good food chain out here is pizzas. We have a pizza company, which is basically similar to Pizza Hut in England. It's a chain of them, but the pizzas over here taste a lot better, I can tell you, and they're a lot cheaper. Look at this. So you got to watch this. Your foot went down there, you twist your ankle. That's why I'm walking slow. So easy to trip over. Ooh, that looks nice. Very nice. Very good. <laughs> oh, see that? That looks nice. Could have ate that myself. Yeah, it looks like there's some building work going up here on the right hand side. There's some land for sale. I'm seeing this everywhere at the moment. The infrastructure that's going up in Thailand here is phenomenal. It really is. Everywhere you go, money's being invested. And you've probably heard from the news. It's the Chinese that's coming over here now, getting their free visas. 
I know we're investing a serious amount of money in these properties over here. They must know something that I don't know because the Chinese wouldn't be putting billions of baht into Thailand unless they know something. They're not silly with Chinese, I can tell you. Big investors here they are. And Thailand does give them a lot of respect for that. It's because they're putting a lot of money into the country. And as a little thank you for doing that, they're getting free visas. Nice, isn't it? Wish I could get a free visa. So yes, they're looking after the Chinese too. It's hot. It really is hot today. Luckily I've got my cap on. But the sweat is pouring off my forehead today. You get some days like that. Some days it's nice just to have a cooler day on a walk and talk about. But today it's bloody hot. Hope the stabilisation on this uh, camera is good. This is a Sony AX53. Very, very good camera. It's got what they call a boss stabilisation built inside. Basically, it's like a built-in gimbal type inside the camera. And the actual lens is a fully floating electronic lens inside. So as soon as there's a bump, the lens basically calculates a percentage of that bump and removes it. It's clever, isn't it? Technology these days. That's what makes this camera my favourite camera over the Canon or my Nikon. And the autofocus and the zoom on this one is far superior than the Canon G7X. And it has an external mic as well. And it's got 5.1 surround audio as well if I want to use it. My Canon's got none of that. Canon's a good little camera, it's a compact camera. Many vloggers use it. But for me, it's not my camera of choice. The only good thing about it is you can put it in your pocket and take it anywhere. Where well, this one's a bit bigger. But the quality I get from the sensor on this one, in my opinion, is a lot more crisper, a lot more clearer. And the audio on the Canon, not very good. It doesn't have an external mic jack like this one does. There's fours and against with all these cameras. You know, the other bad point is with a Canon, is the battery on it only lasts for about an hour. The battery on this one lasts for 2.5 hours on my standard battery. Or my larger battery, I can get 3.5 hours of filming continuous. That's amazing. And this also gives me the option to film in 4K if I choose. But most of the time I'm in 1080p for a simple reason is the files for 4k as everyone are aware of the files are too big and it takes a long time to upload to YouTube other qualities better obviously we've got a grand residence here on the right Free pool, 
and beer is 60 baht happy hour starts when you come in I like that doesn't look very busy around here
So I hope you like this little video of John Tian. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, please share it with your friends. This is Travel Rick, so bye for now. And I'll see you in another video very, very soon. Bye, stay safe.